Is it getting harder to become a data analyst in 2025? Short answer, yes. But should you still learn it? Also, yes. The field of data analytics is booming, but so is the competition. If you want to land a job, you need a strategy. And that's exactly what I'm about to give you. This is your step-by-step -step roadmap to become a data analyst in 2025. No fluff, just action. Today, we'll break down the data analyst journey into clear, actionable steps. Understanding the data analyst role. Essential skills. Coding with SQL and Python. Mastering Excel for real-world tasks. The necessity of basic statistics. Communication and storytelling skills. Building hands-on projects. Showcasting your work effectively. And navigating the job market. A data analyst job is simple. Collect, clean, and analyze data. Identify trends and patterns. Help businesses make smart decisions based on real numbers. Think of yourself as a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you solve business problems using data. SQL is a non-negotiable. Every data analyst needs it. And here's what you'll actually use SQL for. Writing query to pull data from databases. Cleaning and transforming data to make it useful. Finding insights that help businesses make better decisions. Best free resources are SQL Zoo, W3 Schools, and Khan Academy. Once you're comfortable with basic SQL, move to advanced SQL. Things like joints, common table expre expression, and Windows function. Optimizing queries for a big data set is also crucial. SQL gets you the job, but Python makes you stand out. With Python, you can automate reports, work with large data sets easily, perform advanced data analysis, Keep in mind that Pandas is your go-to library for data manipulation, while NumPy is essential for numerical analysis. Mastering both will make your data work much, much easier. Excel is not dead. It's still a core tool for data analysts. Expect to use Excel and SQL together to, in real jobs. What to learn? Pivot tables and data summaries. Look up functions such as VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, index match. Dashboards and charts for visualization once you're comfortable. Learn Google Sheets, Power BI, and Tableau for better data storytelling. Excel is used in almost every industry, so mastering it will give you an edge. Numbers don't lie, but you need to understand them. Key concept to learn. Normal versus cube distribution. Basic probability and A-B testing. Trends and patterns in data. No, you do not need a PhD, just learn enough to make sense of data trends. Knowing statistics helps you avoid misleading conclusion in your analysis. Your insights means nothing if you can't explain them. Strong communication skills makes you 10 times more valuable. How you'll present insight, reports summarizing, key findings, slides for executive presentation, dashboard to visualize trends. Practice explaining chart to a tech novice friend. If they understand, then you're doing it right. No project, no job. It's that simple. Employers want proof that you can actually work with data. Here are some great projects idea to build your portfolios. SQL and Python for cleaning and analyzing real world data set. Excel dashboards for creating insightful business reports. Tableau or Power BI for designing interactive data visualization. Remember, a strong portfolio showcasting real skills is worth more than 10 random Udemy certificates. Think of uploading your projects on GitHub or a personal website. This acts as an extension to your resume and helps you stand out. Recruiters need proof that you can actually do the work. Make your projects work for you. Post them where recruiter can see. GitHub to showcase your SQL and Python skills. LinkedIn to share insight and connect with industry professional. Your website, use Notion for a simple clean portfolio. The more visible your work, the more opportunities you'll attract. But if making a website feels overwhelming, I got you. My next video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on building a QR portfolio that you can add to your resume. It's an easier and faster alternative to a full website. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. 
Is it difficult to get a job in 2025? Yes, but you can stand out. Why is it harder? It's because more people are switching to data analytics. And remote jobs mean global competition. Companies want analysts with extra skills, such as programming or visualization. How do you stand out? You need to showcase your project on LinkedIn and GitHub. You need to learn a niche skill such as Power BI, business analytics, AI, and data. Also, networking and engaging in online communities will help you. So let's recap your roadmap to becoming a data analyst in 2025. Learn SQL and Python, they're non-negotiable. Master Excel and data visualization, they're essential, essential for insights. Understand statistics and data storytelling for better analysis. Build real project and showcase your work. Employers want proof. Prepare for interviews and job application so you can actually get hired. And that's your roadmap to becoming a data analyst in 2025. Now it's your turn. Start learning, build project, and put yourself out there. You got this. If this video helped, hit that like button and drop a comment telling me which step you're working on right now. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video on building a QR portfolio for your resume. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.